Hey, this is Mike Wilmot, and I want to talk today about using a table name as a parameter in SQL Server Reporting Services 2016. These, this issue goes back to I think as early as 2006 or earlier than that, in terms of people looking to pass a, a table name as a parameter. The kind of key statement is that when you use these exact statements here, the challenge is that the, the field name, like product key or whatever, is going to be lost in translation. Um, the editor's not going to pick it up. I'm actually going to use a safety stock level as my name that I'm that I, or my the other name of the field that I'm going to pull back. But you can put in you know one or more fields in here. Let's go to the report designer here and create a data source. I'm going to point to my local SQL Server. Let's build this out with my local host and. Point to AdventureWorks DW. Test that out. That's good. Okay. So now we've got our data source. Now we'll create our data set. The data set I'm going to use is going to be based on a embedded data set. I use my data source one. Let's come in here and use this statement. So if this one is never going to be equal to two, but this is going to actually help us to tease out the safety stock level from our query here. And that's kind of the key in these is to use that. So let's go to query designer and we've got this to run and it's looking for a parameter. We're looking for a table name that we want to have by dynamic is dim product. Say okay on that. You can see safety stock level pulls up fine. Come back into here and hit OK on this. Now safety stock level is going to show up on our data set. What we're going to do now is just pull in a table. Let's insert a table here. Pull in safety stock level. And we'll run this. And we'll run this against dim product. There's our safety stock level. Now what I've done too is I've come in here. And I've updated the uh, safety stock level in my product underscore temp to be 10x the size of product in product. So let's go back into here. Let's run this query again. And when we're against product temp, it's going to pull up, make 1,000, 10,000, 800, 8,000, et cetera. So let's run this. You can see that updated. So what we're doing is we're having a dynamic table name here, kind of a tried and true method. I've seen a lot of articles on it, but just haven't. Uh, seen it formalized in a video. So hopefully that helps. This is Mike, Wilm Mike Wilmot at Microsoft. If you want to reach me, feel free to reach out to me. I am down here, Mike, W-I-L-M at Microsoft.com. All right. Thanks for watching. See ya. Bye.